this is an mp3 player now it may not seem very interesting at first but if you're a fire alarm enthusiast like i am this is a very useful thing because what this is is a relay triggerable mp3 board meaning that if you have this hooked up to an alarm relay you will be able to play any audio you want just from pulling a pull station meaning you could get a very very cheap voice evacuation panel this only costed me like about forty dollars compared to most voice evacuation panels which go like upwards of 200 so if you're looking for something cheap and very useful this is what you want and the way this works is that you hook it up and it reads off a micro sd card so make sure you get yourself a micro sd card if you're planning on buying this uh, before we get into anything else, I'm going to start off with the most, with arguably the most important part, which is programming, because if you don't program it correctly, then it just won't work. So yeah, let's get into it. So in order to program this thing, you're going to need to plug your micro SD card into your computer. Now keep in mind that not every computer has a micro SD card slot. In fact, most computers do not have a micro SD card slot. So you're going to need to get yourself an adapter. Uh, you can find some for fairly cheap. I believe this one is $10. But yeah, just get yourself an adapter. So once you have your micro SD card hooked up to your computer, you're going to want to go to Google, go to electronics123.com slash sound dash test dash files like this. And then you're going to want to scroll all the way to the bottom Click on this, and it'll download a zip file. Once you got that, just go to Downloads, right-click on the file you just downloaded, and then hit Extract All, and then it'll say where you are extracting it to. I recommend just doing the Downloads folder again. It'll just be easier for you. So once you've got your Downloads folder selected, just hit Extract and it'll extract that in for you. So, once you've got it extracted, you right-click File Explorer, hit File Explorer, and go down to your SD card drive. For me, it's showing up as a USB drive because I'm using, a, using an adapter, but it may look different for you. But all in all, this is going to work still. So once you've got that open, you just go into the folder with your read file. It'll be read. It's a, as you can see, it's a CFG file. And then you just drag this into your folder. Once you've got the read file in your SD drive, you're going to uh, click into the read file. Now here you have four different playback modes. You have pulse interruptible one-on-one -on -one playback. You have level hold for loop playback, you have pulse non-interruptible one-on-one -on -one playback, and standard mp3 key mode playback. Now what you're going to want is the loop playback option, so to get that you just backspace 1. And now you have looped playback. And from here just hit save. And boom, you have this programmed. Now all you need is your audio file to play this. Uh, now to get your audio file you have a couple different options. You could go to uh, YouTube and look up something you want there. Uh, YouTube has some pretty decent um, messages that you could select from there. What I like to do is go to, for example, Soundtrap. And in Soundtrap I just upload the messages here and then I could just tweak them how I want, for example, cut them a bit short if there's an imperfection in the file, and do stuff there. Uh, this is pretty useful, and it is my preferred method. Um, now, obviously, there are other websites you could go to. You could look on Reddit, even. I know Reddit has a couple of good voice of act messages. It's really up to you on how you want to get them. Um, just don't go on a, any sketchy websites. That's my only tip for you. And once you have your mp3 file, what I recommend you do is you go make a new folder onto your desktop 
and just save your message through there. Like here, I have a folder full of uh, different voice evacuation messages that I want to save, uh, just so you don't lose all your hard work. Um, so yeah, once you have it saved in your voice evacuation folder, you want to just drag it into your SD card. And like that, you now have your MP3 player programmed. And just in case, to avoid corrupting your files, uh, make sure you just right-click on your drive and then click Eject. And then you can remove your uh, drive. And then you take your micro SD card and just slide it, uh, or pop it, into the uh, SD card reader. And boom. Now let's talk about the wiring and stuff. So on the top, the top left here you have your uh, power input. This is where you would supply power to this entire device here. Uh, you want anywhere from 9 volts to 24 volts. And for this you could just use either your panel's auxiliary power supply, or if your panel auxiliary power supply doesn't supply enough milliamps, then you could just take a uh, power supply that you plug into your wall and do it like that. For your input, left is negative and right is positive as you can see here there's a minus sign there and a positive sign there now for your speakers that will be on your top right this is where you would plug your speakers into to play audio now i'm not sure if polarity matters here but i just follow the same thing uh positive right side negative left side don't quote me on that because again i have no clue here on the right you have your volume adjuster um it is a screw you just take your phillips head screw and you turn it counterclockwise in order to lower the volume and then turn it clockwise to raise the volume right here you have your headphone jack in case you want to plug this into your headphones for whatever reason down here you have your relays uh and i will get into those in a second once we actually start wiring this uh here we have your micro usb cable slot where you basically can plug this into your computer and i don't know how to exactly use this so i won't be going over this much in depth but yeah and then here obviously you have your micro sd card slot now to wire it you just have to take your negative and positive input wires and put it into these terminals here like this Positive on the left, negative on the right. And then you just want to take your speaker wire and do the same thing, but on the right side. Like that, see? Negative left, positive right. And then here's where it's slightly more complicated. Um, these are your relays. I'll pull a diagram up right now of what they are. Um, but really the only thing you need are the uh, two relays on the left. You're going to want to hook up your common to the common right here. Like that. And then you're going to want to take your normally open relay on your panel. This is important. Take your normally open relay on your panel. If you don't know what that is or where that is on your panel, just look it up on the internet. Or if you have your manual, it'll be in there as well. Um, but yeah, take your normally open relay and then put it in the slot right next to the common. So it would be this one right here and like that. And again, your input wires, negative left, positive right, your output wires, negative left, positive right. And then your relay wires common on the left that would focus that would be great common on the left and then your normally open relay on the right and now it's time for the most important part of them all attention attention an emergency has been reported in this building Please cease operations and leave the building utilizing the nearest exit or fire exit stairway. Do not use elevators. Repeat, 
Do not use elevators. in this building. Please cease operations and leave the building utilizing the nearest exit or fire exit stairway. Do not use elevators. Repeat. Do and just like that, we have a voice evacuation panel. Unfortunately, you can't really silence this panel unless you have like your uh, relay hooked up to a knack. But I wouldn't recommend doing that at all. Um, so what you could do is, if you want to silence it, you just pop your SD drive out. Let me show you. You just pop your SD drive out like that, and it'll stop the audio. And that's going to do it for today's tutorial. Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope this helped you a lot, and I hope you have lots of fun with this like I do. So yeah, have a great day guys. Bye-bye.